A stunning shift is unfolding in the battery world. CL, the global leader in lithium batteries, has dropped a bombshell. Nearly half of the future battery market could be powered not by lithium, but by sodium. That's the twist, because if anyone should be championing lithium, it's CL. Yet, the biggest name in lithium production is now betting big on an alternative. And that alone tells us lithium's dominance may not be as unshakable as once believed. Sodium ion batteries bring a lot to the table. Performance that rivals lithium at a fraction of the cost with salt being far more abundant and accessible. It's no wonder CL and others are pushing toward mass production. But the big question hangs in the air. Will sodium truly spark the next energy revolution? Or will it forever remain in lithium's shadow? CL isn't just another player. It's the undisputed giant holding nearly 40% of the global market as of 2023. With that kind of influence, their vision of the future isn't just speculation. It's a roadmap the industry takes seriously. In a headline-making interview with Reuters in late 2024, CL co-founder Robin Zen flipped the script on battery hire. Instead of backing solid state as the next big thing, he doubled down on sodium ion boldly predicting it could capture up to half of the market CL already dominates. And this isn't just torque. CL has already cracked the code on integrating sodium batteries into its innovative hybrid packs, blending lithium and sodium cells to stretch the range of electric vehicles further than ever before. The sodium future isn't coming someday. It's already starting to roll out. Such a breakthrough is particularly notable considering that the fundamental drawback of sodium is its lower energy density, something that typically means heavier and bulkier battery configuration. Because every gram and millimeter matter in EV design, such an accomplishment signifies excellent technical progress. From this achievement, CL continues to reinforce its technological breakthroughs. The company is preparing to roll out its second-generation sodium battery in the latter part of this year with an energy density of over 200 watt-hours per kilogram. While this is still below today's standard of 300 watt-hours per kilogram for the best lithium-ion batteries, it is a marked improvement from its predecessor's 160 watt-hours per kilogram and forcefully illustrates substantial technological advancement. But CL isn't alone in this revolution. Other firms around the world are also racing to boost sodium ion battery production capacity, positioning themselves for what appears to be an inevitable mass scale market shift. The question is therefore whether or not sodium batteries really are the future of battery science. And if so, what specific hope Robin Zen and the industry in general have for this new technology? Because while lithium continues to dominate the spotlight, sodium is quietly checking every box that matters. Cost, abundance, safety, and scalability. So what exactly makes this humble element such a strong contender in the battery race? The underlying principles of sodium ion batteries are a very basic technological breakthrough. The novel power storage units bear a remarkable resemblance to their lithium-based counterparts, sharing the same structural characteristics and reflecting the architecture of conventional lithium-ion batteries. They also possess the same magnitude of round-trip efficiency factors, ensuring that the delivered energy is very much a replica of the input energy at startup cycles. Yet, this extremely significant technological advancement is not entirely devoid of inherent limitations. Sodium ion batteries possess a lower energy density than their lithium ion counterpart. This particular aspect has until now restricted their everyday application across numerous industries and fields. Sodium ion batteries represent an interesting technological frontier in the rapidly evolving electric vehicle landscape. While industry titans CL, BYD, and Natron are at the forefront, my skepticism regarding their short-term viability in EV applications is unflappable. The root issue is energy density, a critical metric where sodium-ion batteries consistently trail lithium batteries with much lower power-to-weight ratios. The economic dynamics behind the production of sodium-ion batteries present an interesting paradox. Even though they incorporate more affordable materials in their manufacturer, 
The batteries themselves have a higher cost per unit of stored energy due to their lower energy density. Even though the differential cost that lower cost componentry produces will presumably even out eventually, things are currently quite different. On top of this, the recent sharp 70% fall in lithium prices over the past three years, driven by overup, has seriously undermined the economic case for sodium ion technology. More recent academic research offers enlightening data on the present state of sodium ion battery technology. In February of 2025, Columbia University's Dr. Dan Steinart reported findings in Science Magazine indicating a fundamental scalability issue. Sodium ion manufacturers today do not have the requisite manufacturing scale to take advantage of economies of scale. This perspective was reinforced by a January 2025 Stanford analysis of the commercial viability path for SIB sodium ion batteries that concluded that becoming Costco competitive is highly unlikely. Moreover, lithium continues to be the market leader in many industrial applications due to its existing base of supplies and manufacturing infrastructure. Even with sodium ion batteries offering plug-and-play compatibility, altering both production and consumer preference will take some time. This creates a self-reinforcing cycle. Sodium batteries won't realize cost savings until they're mass-produced, but they may never be mass-produced unless they're already cost-competitive. This Catch-22 is a significant barrier to mass adoption. Despite this, SIBs have a potentially unique place in the technology landscape. While many other emerging battery technologies are still mired in laboratory testing or several years from production, sodium ion batteries are already beginning to launch their market. Aided by some of the world's leading battery producers, whose immense manufacturing expertise and financial backing provide a significant tailwind, this compressed deployment timeline places sodium ion batteries well up high on the technological readiness level, particularly for specific ideal applications. For battery energy storage system users, such as those deploying large-scale stationary storage for grid support, renewable energy integration, or commercial backup power, the technology perhaps receives a level 9 score, indicating that systems are already in their final form and operating successfully in real-world environments. In these applications, factors like weight and volume are less critical than raw cost, safety, and cycle life, making sodium ion an exceptionally compelling proposition. However, for other uses, most notably the demanding automotive sector where energy density is paramount, the readiness score is slightly lower as engineers continue to refine cell chemistry and pack integration to meet the rigorous space and weight constraints of modern electric vehicles. While sodium ion batteries, SIBs, certainly face big well-documented hurdles to clear, namely bridging the energy density gap with lithium and achieving true cost competitiveness at scale through massive manufacturing investments, their issues appear to be more fundamentally solvable than the profound scientific and engineering challenges confronting other nascent next-generation battery technologies in the works. Unlike the material stability nightmares of solid-state batteries or the durability quagmires of lithium-sulfur chemistries, the challenges for sodium ion are primarily centered on incremental refinement of existing electrode materials and, most critically, the scaling of production infrastructure to drive down unit costs. These are problems of engineering and economics, not of fundamental physics, making them inherently more tractable with sufficient investment and time. If they can successfully scale these barriers, if the industry can build the Giga factories and refine the supply chains to leverage sodium's natural abundance, then sodium ion technology can be the crucial, transformative change our energy system so sorely requires. It promises a future of mass electrification that is not held hostage by geopolitical resource constraints, exorbitant mineral costs, or environmentally damaging extraction practices. It offers a path to a more resilient, distributed, and truly sustainable energy paradigm. That being said, what is your informed opinion on this pivotal technological crossroads? 
Having carefully considered the compelling, almost undeniable advantages of unparalleled global abundance, inherent structural safety, and freedom from critical supply chain bottlenecks, while also weighing them against the very real-world challenges of lower energy density, the current economic paradox of higher cost per watt-hour, and the monumental task of establishing a brand new manufacturing ecosystem from the ground up, do you believe that sodium ion batteries possess the fundamental robustness and market appeal to overcome these initial and formidable growing pains? Or, despite their promise, will they ultimately be confined to a niche solution, fulfilling specific roles in low-speed vehicles, backup power systems, and specialized applications where their weight and volumetric limitations are not a primary concern, but never quite achieving the universal status once predicted? The answer is not merely academic. It will shape the geopolitics of energy, the environmental footprint of our technology, and the very speed and equity of the global transition to renewable power. The journey of sodium ion technology is a testament to the complex interplay between raw material science, market forces, and industrial might. Thank you for watching and for engaging so thoughtfully in this critical discussion. The future of our energy storage is not a predetermined path, but a landscape of possibilities, and it is through informed debate and shared analysis that we can best navigate the choices that lie ahead. Your perspective is a valuable part of this ongoing global conversation.